My name is Dan Dorfmiller. I'm the author of Print Reading for Construction. I will take a look at material from Unit 1, Construction Drawing Organization. In this video, you will learn about how drawings are organized and the types of drawings included in a set of plans. In small construction projects, all the necessary information for construction is usually included on a single plan drawing, an elevation and a detail drawing. A number is assigned to each drawing for identification purposes. For example, a drawing identified as Sheet 1 represents the first drawing in the set of documents. In larger projects, the construction documents are typically organized in sections and have letter classifications to identify each section. When letter classifications are used, it is common to employ numbering system for sheet identification. Letter classifications specified in the Uniform Drawing System, UDS, include the following. The most common classifications used in construction are highlighted. G for General, C for Civil, L for Landscape, S for Structural, A for Architectural, F for Fire Protection, P for Plumbing, M for Mechanical, and E for Electrical. The drawing organization is identified and outlined on the title sheet. On the title sheet, you will find a list of drawings for the project. In this example, the title sheet includes an index of drawings. The title sheet is titled G000 Cover Sheet. Also identified on the title sheet are the parties involved in the project, such as the following. Owner, Architect, Civil Engineer, Mechanical, Electrical, and Plumbing, MEP Engineers, and Structural Engineer. Additionally, items commonly found on the title sheet are Site Location Map, General Notes and Abbreviations, and Symbol and Material Legend. Common types of prints found in a set of construction documents include Site Plans, Floor Plans, elevations, sections, and details. Site plans show the location and orientation of the building on the property. Floor plans show the layout of the overall building. Elevations show the exterior features of the building architecture and the exterior materials used in constructions. Sections show the building as if it were cut apart at the location indicated. Details show in large portions of the building components and features in more detail. Schedules are included in a set of drawings to list information about building materials and components required in construction. Schedules list items such as doors, windows, and finishes for the project. When you are first learning what is in a set of drawings, it is good to start with flipping through the entire set to become familiar. As you do this, you may want to tag out the sheets that you will refer to the most often. Always use care when handling prints. Use the following guidelines to properly handle and store prints. First, never write on prints unless authorized to make changes. Second, keep prints clean. Third, do not eat or drink when you are near prints. Fourth, Always fold or roll the drawings carefully. A good practice is to roll the prints inward so they lay flat when unrolled. Fifth, do not lay sharp tools or objects on prints. Sixth, keep prints out of direct sunlight. And finally, when prints are not in use, store them in a clean, dry place. Thank you. Please visit my website for additional videos on Print Reading for Construction at www.printreading.us.